welcome. Um, you'll have to forgive me. Um, I had to write some notes to remind me of th some things to say. First of all, thank you for coming to our performance this afternoon of The Heart of Christmas. Sometime this summer, I received an email from Kendall and Karen Schlittler asking if I would be interested in directing a Christmas cantata. It was summer. I was thinking, no, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't know if I want to. I mean, are we going to get enough people? And after talking with my wife for about two hours, off and on, discussing the merits of should we, shouldn't we, we thought it was a good idea to proceed. And I said, yes, I would love to. And they did all of the legwork. They did all of the publicity. They got all the information out. And as you can see, I didn't have to worry about having a choir. We have 50 singers behind me, and they are a wonderful group of people to work with. <laughs> with any choir, we have some rehearsing to do. We started in October. Uh, Christy Litcher, who is our accompanist at First United Church of Christ, came on board as our backup pianist and worked with sections, and we rehearsed for the last, I think, six or seven weeks. And um, the Heart of Christmas has come to life tonight, or this afternoon, for you. Um, some of these singers are former students, not very far out of high school for me, and some even are even older than I am, if you can believe that. I've always told my students that singing is lifelong. And you can enjoy singing as long as you have a voice. And these people have certainly exemplify that. Um, we have two soloists today. Um, Amy Baskin will be one of our soloists. And our other soloist is fighting some laryngitis. So I will be doing the other solo. We have a wonderful children's choir that will be coming up during one of our pieces. Um, and we have three wonderful narrators, uh, Cliff Thompson, Tom Litcher, and Halcyon Bjornstad. Thank you very much for joining us today. And thank you to Nick Dingman back in the booth and the River Arts Center for providing us this opportunity to perform in this wonderful facility. Afterwards, there is a reception in the gallery. Please join us for some cookies and beverage, and we can uh, chat and get to see each other. And above all, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you. We did discuss this yesterday. With any multi-piece work, Sometimes they say, please hold your applause until the very end. Sometimes they don't say anything. But these pieces are so inspirational. We would hate for anybody to clap and feel out of place. So if, if you're moved to applaud at the end of a piece, by all means, we would welcome it. We will feed off of it. Trust me on that. And finally, Please be aware that the donations collected today will certainly help those in our community that are less fortunate than all of us. Uh, if you haven't donated, please, on the way out, we would appreciate your donations. Um, I did some research. The Salvation Army returns 93-plus percent of all of the money they collect to those in need. So it's a very worthwhile charity. Without any further ado, please enjoy the heart of Christmas. Voice cries in the wilderness. Prepare. Prepare the way. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight. Make straight in the desert a highway. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted. And every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the glory. And the glory. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed.
As we prepare the way of the Lord, his light will shine. The glory of the Lord is revealed. And the presence of the Lord is in this place. As we gather, let us be still as God's presence fills our hearts. For surely the Lord is in this place. Let us open our hearts and breathe in the spirit that lives and moves among us. Lord, we stand ready as we wait to receive the same hope, love, and joy that you've placed in the hearts of those who experienced the first Christmas. As sure as you entered our world as a child so many years ago, we invite you into our hearts to live in us. Live through us. Emmanuel, God with us. Her name was Mary. Mary was a young woman whose heart was clean and in innocent. She had a willing heart and was ready to serve the Lord. She had a pure heart and she had found favor with God. One day she was visited by an angel. Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. The angel told her that she would conceive and bring forth a child would be called the Son of the Most High. Mary was puzzled by the angel's words, but listened with a spirit of openness. So let it be, was her simple response. Here I am, so let it be. 
for words came from a pure and willing heart. Here I am, the servant of the Lord, so let it be with me according to your word. I heard the voice of the angel, hail, O blessed one, the Lord is surely with you, now do not be afraid, for you have found God's favor. His name was Joseph. Joseph was a just man. A good man. He had a good and faithful heart. Joseph loved God and always tried to do the right thing. But then he heard rumors. Rumors that Mary was with child. She's with child. Mary and Joseph were to be husband and wife one day. But now she was with child and he was not the father. Mary is with child. Late one sleepless night, Joseph struggled. He struggled with what he should do. Joseph, you are not the father. No one. No one will blame you if you turn her away. But he was a just man. A good man. And he decided to quietly let her go to save her from more disgrace. But just as he drifted off to sleep, an angel entered his dreams and told him another plan. 
Listen to the angel, Joseph. Listen to the voice that calls you down a different road. A higher road. Rise up, Joseph, and prove what it means to be a strong and faithful man. <laughs> Joseph, Joseph, have you heard the news? Mary is with child now, what will you do? Will you be noble and let compassion flow? Save her disgrace and quietly let her go. From the heart of God, love overflowed. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. From the heart of God, love overflowed to earth. And Joseph went to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. When holy love came down. And so it was that, while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. When holy love came down, a child was born. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes. When holy love came down, a child was born in Bethlehem. And she laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end.
there were shepherds abiding in the field. Shepherds living and eating and sleeping in the field. Strong, sturdy men of the earth, hardworking, bold, and boisterous men. Who will be chosen to see the newborn Savior? And lo, an angel of the Lord came around them. Who will be chosen to celebrate his birth? And the angel said to them, Fear not, for I bring you good tidings of great joy. Great joy! Shepherds, you are chosen to celebrate. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior. Yes, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Run, shepherds! Run to Bethlehem and find the child lying in a manger. <clears throat> Run and feel the joy stir in your hearts until it bursts forth into the night. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen. Let there be joy on the mountain. Singing in the valley. Join the holy host of angels shouting. Christ the Lord is born. Far from the joyful celebration of the shepherds, wise men from the east patiently traveled through the night. A star of heaven filled their eyes, and a desire to worship filled their hearts. When they came to Jerusalem, they asked, Where is he that is born, King of the Jews? For we have seen 
his star. We have seen his star and have come to worship him. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the Christ child was. As the star of heaven drew them closer to the child, it seemed to call out to them. Come and worship, bow before him, and bring your gifts of love and praise. Come with anticipation, moving closer all the while. To express your adoration as we come before the child. When we come and worship, when we bow before him and bring our gifts of love and praise, our hearts overflow with worship, our hearts fill with joy, our hearts are led to follow as the Spirit comes upon us, but even more, our hearts are awakened to celebrate the coming of the Lord. Isaiah the prophet calls to us, Arise and shine! For your light has come. The Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Then you shall see and be radiant. And your heart shall thrill. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice. So, so lift up your eyes, arise and shine, for your light has come.
join us in the gallery if you can. We have some refreshments. We'd love to chat with you. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and have a wonderful season. Thank you.